All right, so today we are doing a Eastern North Carolina barbecue sauce. Now, I had never really tried Eastern North Carolina barbecue sauce. So I contacted my buddy Ricky over at the meat stall and I asked him if he had a recipe and he said he did. So he sent me that recipe and it, uh, his recipe calls for two cups of apple cider vinegar, three quarter cups of brown sugar, a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of red pepper flakes, and a tablespoon of Texas Pete hot sauce. So I made a batch of that and it absolutely changed my life here. So I'm gonna make a double batch today. So I'm gonna use three cups of apple cider vinegar because when I made it I decided to only use um, one and a half cups of vinegar because I just wasn't sure at the time if I was gonna like it or not so I'm doing three cups of apple cider vinegar And I'm gonna just add three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I'm just upping the vinegar, keeping the brown sugar the same. Get that in there. Oh, made a mess there. Use a teaspoon of sea salt here. Actually, we're going to do a teaspoon and a half because I put in extra. And then we're going to do a teaspoon and a half of ground pepper. And then we're going to add what I think actually makes this stuff so good is the Texas Pete. So put in Here's one tablespoon. We're going to put in a little bit more here. About a tablespoon and a half of Texas Pete. Last but definitely not least, red pepper flakes. Now the Texas Pete and the red pepper flakes definitely give it a little bit of a zing. It's actually not overpowering. I'm not huge on spiciness, but I love the zing that I get from the Texas peat and the red pepper flakes on this. So we're gonna put about a tablespoon and a half of red pepper flakes in here. And there you go, that is the recipe right there. Um, and then you shake it all up, you mix it, shake it. And the important thing I have found, and Ricky has told me this as well, is to leave it in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours. 
Ricky also said you could put it on some heat, heat it up a little bit and that'll help everything dissolve better. I just have loved the way it tastes when I use the, uh, just put it in the refrigerator and let all the stuff, all the flavors meld together. So try this out, mix, you know, mix and match, do it. You know, if you want it hotter, put more hot sauce, more pepper flakes. If you want more vinegary, add more vinegar. If you want more sugary, add more sugar. Play with it, make it yours. Uh, I love this, it has changed the barbecue game as far as I'm concerned. I did three pork butts in the last two weeks and I've used this stuff on it and it's just magnificent. So try it out, give it a shot. Check out Ricky's page, I'll put a link below. I'll also put an iCard up here in the top for Ricky's channel. Check him out, Ricky is a gold mine of information um, and a good, good dude. Ricky, thank you for sharing this with me. Uh, you changed my life, brother, I love you. Talk to you guys later. Keep looking up. God bless each and every one of you guys.